my intention wasn't conveyed effectively. Uh, it could be the, the choice of words I use or it could be I, I'm too blunt, you know. Hi, my name is Zoe. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And in this channel, I speak with guests and we share perspectives and our insights into things that really matter. If this is what you're looking for, do consider subscribing. In today's video, we have Cassandra, a second gen owner of Kia Huat Fruit Shop, to share with us what motivates her, how COVID has transformed the business, and how she has recently expanded the business into gifts. Now, coming up next. Yeah, hi everyone. I'm Cassandra. I'm the second generation of uh, Kia Huat Fruit Shop. Yeah, my parents started the fruit business in 1991 at mm. UB. Yeah, and it has been uh, 30 years uh, since. Wow. So if you have a chance to browse our social media yes. or drop by our area, you'll see that the shop is uh, kept is in its original look from the 90s. Yeah, so it fits the bill that uh, what, what others will call it a uh, rustic and um, old school outlook. Mm. Yeah, so I actually I started uh, helping out in when I was fifteen. Oh, yeah, wow. yeah, <laughs> learning from the scratch, from such as you know, the basic knowledge of uh, choosing fruits to procurement to to cutting skills. Yeah, mm. yeah. So because our uh, we are we are in the neighborhood area and surrounded by all those uh, industrial areas, so we have to uh, cut fruit size. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. So the means it's a family business. Uh, yes. Uh, it started with by your parents. So uh, you and your siblings, uh, help. Yeah, me yeah. My brother and I and and my my uncles, my relatives, uh, my uncles. Oh, my uncles. okay. Yeah, yeah. So you started business. running when mm. you were fifteen. You've been helping since you were fifteen years old, right? Yeah, yeah. So correct. When do you finally take over or? Actually, it has been uh, I take over for quite quite some time, but uh. Yeah, but then uh, I've been in so called like in comfort zone, you know. So yeah, yeah, I never really expand it. Yeah, just leave it as as usual, like that, you know. Okay, yeah. okay. So there were always expectation, is it, on Cassandra yourself to take over the business? Yes, of course. Yeah, okay. because my my parents also my my dad has a high hope lah. Because okay, yeah, and uh, running the business is also not easy lah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Correct. So there means a lot of the skills that you picked up were also picked up along the way, lah. Yes. Yes, okay. of course. Yeah. Were, were, were there like because I can imagine that it can be quite stressful for you to take over. Yeah. Uh, you you are the main you are the main whole uh like yeah. like you're running the whole show right. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Okay. So and when you ran uh, took over the shop, it was uh, although you did help out the shop. Uh, mm. Did you say, uh, do you still remember the day when you finally took over and said, that, okay, I am the one in charge? <laughs> uh, actually, it's, uh, actually, it's because uh, uh, I've been helping out for, for so long, but I'm not the one who is uh, the main, uh, you know, until yes, uh, yes. a few years back when my, uh, my mom uh, unwell. Okay. Yeah, so she, she wants me to take over. So at the time that I started to take over and have to run the business on my own, you know. Yeah. Okay. So okay. this is how yeah. Okay. How I okay. Yeah. I see. So uh you, it was not like you were totally cold in the business world. Uh. Yeah, no. Okay, okay. How has a yeah. so how is your experience in the running Kiawat fruit shop? <laughs> uh it can be it's it's quite fun, challenging and also quite tiring because okay. uh yeah, because we have to learn everything from the scratch and, and yeah, a lot of things to learn and we have to communicate with, with our team members also, different, different team members, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it has been quite tough on me also like, at times, yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. I can imagine. So mm. uh, could you recall any uh, any instance that it was uh, very life-changing for you within the business? It means it really took you to another level of running the company. I think uh, during this COVID, it really uh, changed me a lot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Previously, I was really in. Uh, previously, I was in like comfort zone. I don't really, you know, really chung for it, and I just okay, like day after day only doing business until this COVID. Uh, when our business really deep and yeah, this okay. is where 
how uh, we, we move our business online with the help of my friend also. Mm. Yeah, if not, okay. so so now become like we are online, so we need to do more more things and learn more things also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, so, but other, but you, it seems like you have been online for quite some time already because uh, even before COVID, were you online already? No. Oh, okay, okay. We, okay. we wasn't, yeah, we wasn't. Oh, but the I growth is quite online. fast, huh? Uh, <laughs> I think if I may chime in, actually, they have been, there are some online presence, like via yes. social media, just yes, that yes. Was, they, they weren't actively taken in orders and, and ah. so, yeah, so um, active like, in the online business. I so see. I think what she meant was that the real action really kicked in due to COVID. So before that, you know, because before that, the front business was really good. Yes, so, yes. So they were so busy with all the customers into the shop that they felt that, hey, I think I have enough until COVID yeah. uh, hit okay. and they realized that, hey, there's a need to to uh, transform the business. I see, mm -hmm. I see. Yeah. That's, why, mm -hmm. that's why I think in her memory, it, it, is so, it hit her so hard last year that she, she yeah. felt that the online business only kicked up last year when all the while she has been trying yeah. to spread right. the business the, uh, via social media presence. Yeah. Yes, yes, I, it makes sense. And I think a lot of business also experience the same thing. Mm. Yeah. So, 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 so the, what were some challenges in putting your business uh, online? Um, I, I think the, the main challenge is the, okay, I have difficulties in, uh, with these uh, online platforms. Uh, right. Know? And yeah, because uh, from like navigating this uh, online platform like Google Drive and uh, yes. Yeah, IG is really it's really totally yeah <laughs> yeah a it's challenge difficult. to me yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes so I have to learn everything and mm -hmm. and uh previously when I was in shop you know I just communicate verbally with customers and we mm -hmm. don't we don't text customers or so yeah. until uh being online we need to reply text to customers and sometimes uh my intention wasn't conveyed effectively right right and, right and and yeah it could be the the choice of words or uh, i use or it could be I, i'm too blind you know so right uh, it causes some misunderstanding also la. Yeah. Mm, yeah 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 well so these correct. are really the the learning things that uh, steep learning curve in a sense yeah yeah correct okay so but online you will get audience who are very savvy with tech then how about because whoopi area you've been there since 1991 actually you have a lot of regular customers that yes. maybe, maybe older mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So how do you reach out to them during COVID? Uh, they they, they still come in to support okay, okay. us. Yeah. Uh, okay, so okay. Our, our, a lot of uh regular customers. It's only that when we move online, right? We got a larger pool of of uh of of uh, customers right now, lah. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. You got you got different different areas of customers right now. Yeah. It's not like. Yeah. It's not like we are just in Ubi, you know. Yeah. We really move mm. to other areas. Yeah. Correct, correct. And I think in the in your business journey with Kiahuat, I, I think COVID is, mm. is is a very recent challenge. Mm. I believe even even in your as in running the business, there are many challenges along the way and things like that. What is what's the uh, because I, I really it, it takes a lot of strength, even for yourself, for mm. Cassandra yourself to mm. overcome that. So what kind of mindset do you have when you run the business and you see a problem and you know it's so easy to to say, I okay, now might if uh, you know, let's take some easy way out, or maybe let's let's not do that. What what keeps you going? Um, I think the motivation comes from my parents, la. Okay. Yeah, I feel that they are old, and when I see them, uh, when when I see them, they are old, right? Then I feel that I need to take up the responsibility also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to move on to. To work harder la. so I don't I don't want them to get worried. You say, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. So, uh, that is a very I must say it's a very big motivator for you lah because you've yeah. been running for so long. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Um, in fact, I would say that you are also very selfless in that sense that you actually put I think you put aside your dreams aspirations to mm. run this business. Well, if, if if not for the business, I'm just curious. What are your aspirations actually? Like what do you hope to do? Uh, you mean in our business or? Uh, personally, like if let's say for example you don't have the business and you can pursue something of your dreams, what would be? 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> Honestly, I will come through this this question. Uh, because, okay. Uh, okay, I dropped off uh, my school in secondary three. I didn't finish my school. So uh, I okay. really didn't have any dream besides uh, beforehand, I, I work in this travel agent and I wish I... I, because I like to travel, so I wish that I'm a right. tour guide. Yeah, that's yeah, all. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So actually, all along, I've been in this business. La. Yeah. Okay. And you are happy, la, I, I guess? I I should say, is yeah, it's happy, but it's more of responsibility. La. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. Do, uh, but you feel like the sense of fulfillment is there la, when you are able yeah. to support your, your yeah. parents' dream. Correct. I also understand from Chloe that uh, you all want you all also started this a uh, gift shop, right? That uh, yes, yes, yeah, yes. So maybe you want to share share with us more about uh, how this gift shop uh, idea came about and how you all uh, tying it with Kiawa itself. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe I was I will go first. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So um, just gracious gift. If you uh, you see on Kiahuat's Facebook, it's actually one of the collaboration between Kiahuat and the co-founder is actually, uh, Cassandra and my mom. Oh, okay, so, okay. So it was a very spontaneous collaboration because um, because uh, Cassandra has fruit boxes. Yes. So a lot of times when people you know when they send get well gift or or for special occasions they want fruits and something else. Mm. And it just happened that my mom uh, has an interest in floral arrangements and baking. Okay. So, so she was just talking to me about it at, our, at my house. Then we're like, hey, why not you have a collaboration mm. to, to meet the gifting needs of the people? Mm. So that's how this mm. whole gifting uh, gifting business came about. So we, okay. they started last year uh, um, during Cassandra's birthday, so we chose that day to make it a grand opening of oh, yeah. <laughs> online store to, to, yeah, mm. to celebrate. Yeah, okay, so that's okay. how the whole gifting business started for, yeah, yeah, for yeah, Cassandra yeah. and my mom. So I'm the I'm the matchmaker for this yes, yes. marriage. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. Okay. So other than uh, so uh, online, other than Facebook and IG, where else can the uh, listeners uh, find Kia what? Okay, you, you, you can uh, locate us at our Facebook or Instagram or you can yes. drop by our area. Okay, yeah. okay. And we are working towards uh, for our own website and hope that it will be available soon. Yeah. Ah, okay, great. That's great, that's great. Yeah. Okay, okay. So through Google, we'll be able to find Kia what and things like that. Coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.